Welcome back for part two. Uh, now we want to see how we can use this naive Bayes implementation to classify emails into spam or not spam. So let's just first look at sort of the data set that we have. Uh, I'll link in the description so you can download this data set if you want to look at it as well. Uh, but really just we have, uh, so we have two columns here, one for the email. So uh, this is for example, a spam one for spam so it's like save your money by getting this thing here etc and then if we scroll down we have sort of examples of of non-spam and in total we have let's see so about 6,000 emails and so what we want to do is first of all we want to build a vocabulary and we're going to build the vocabulary from the words that we see in the email uh, in the data set so there are essentially two ways you could do this. You could download a vocabulary, English vocabulary list, uh, dictionary, and uh, use that. Uh, but we're going to build our own just from the data set. Uh, so let's start with that. What we want to do first is we want to import pandas as pd. We want to import numpy as np. And also, we're going to, from nltk.corpus, we're going to import words. Uh, so this one has, we're going to use the NLTK uh, words for kind of looking through each word in our email and we're going to see is this an actual word, an English word, and then we're going to add it to our dictionary. Because there can be a lot of uh, nonsensical words written in emails. Um, so we're going to essentially just take a subset of all the words in the email. And then we're going to do vocabulary, which is an empty dictionary. And we're going to do data, which is going to read CSV. And now it's in data, data sub, uh, subfolder, and then emails.csv. Then we're going to do nltk.download words. And then we're just going to do set words. We're going to do this words.words .words into a set, which um, makes it run a lot faster. You know, yeah, okay, so we need to import NLTK as well. And then we're going to define build vocabulary. And let's just do it for current email, so one email at a time. And one thing that we're going to use later when we build sort of the X and Y NumPy arrays is we're going to use sort of a, a specific feature. So the zero feature, for example, the first feature is a specific word. So we're going to uh, keep track of the words and we're going to store them at a specific index. Uh, so what we're going to do first, we're going to forward in current email. Uh, and then we're going to do if word dot lower, uh, not in vocabulary. So we, if we don't have this word and word dot lower in set words, so essentially, if we don't have the the word stored, and it's also an English word, uh, then we're gonna add it. But we're gonna add, and we're gonna add it to a specific index, and then we're gonna add index plus one, and we're gonna say that the index is the length of the vocabulary at this current time. So you can essentially see that we're when we're adding a for our first word, it's gonna be index. Uh, zero and then the second word is index one third word index three etc and then all we're gonna do is if name equals main we're gonna do for I in range of let's see we need to also load our data yes yeah, so we loaded data here so we're gonna do for I in range of data that shape of zero so that's all of the uh, the emails then we're going to do current email. We're going to use data.iloc um, from the pandas. Uh, and then we're going to do for that specific uh, training example, i. Then we're going to take all of, yeah, we're going to take the zero uh, one for the email. And then we're going to do dot split. And let's do print. Um, current email is, let's see. I of so how many we've processed so far and the 
let's see the length of vocabulary is so sort of just to see how how many have we processed so far and what is the current length of our vocabulary and then we're just gonna call build vocabulary of our current email and then what we're gonna do in the end is we're gonna do after this is run we're gonna do file open and then we're gonna open vocabulary.txt and then we're gonna do write so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna print this entire dictionary to a, to a text file and then file.write string of vocabulary as a, as a string and then we're just gonna do file.close uh, yeah so okay we don't actually need numpy it seems like so we can move that one and all right so let's try to run this and we get so this is kind of a small data set we just have 5,000 emails and we can see that at the end we have 12,000 words in our dictionary and of course if we increased the number of emails there would be more words so the vocabulary uh, would increase but for this data set we just have 12,000 so now we want to go through each email and map each email into some x and y data set that we can then send in to our naive base implementation and the way we're going to do this is let's say we we uh, have some dictionary okay some the vocabulary that we cr just created let's say that we have some words let's say we have art quark and then we have some words and then we have buy and then we have let's say money is in our vocabulary and then we have some last word let's say zulu and what we're going to do is we're going to go through each email and we're going to count how many times does this word exist in this specific email and let's say it's zero times and then we're going to you know get to buy and we're going to see maybe it's eight times and then we're going to see you know let's say money and it's 10 times and uh, yeah so we have then lastly zulu let's say zero times so we're sort of going to map each email into some frequency uh, array and we're going to do this for each email and this is then going to be the input to naive base so we have 12,000 words in our vocabulary so each training example is going to be 12,000 features all right so let's do import pandas as pd import numpy as np and then we're going to use some library called import ast and this is just to read the dictionary file that we uh, created so first we're going to do data.panda read csv and we're going to read uh, emails then we're going to open the vocabulary text and we're going to read it and then we're going to do content is file.read and we're going to do vocabulary is us.literal eval and then content and so this is so we read it and it's a string and it's going to evaluate it into a dictionary there might be better ways to do this uh, but we're not really going to focus on that we just get our dictionary back now that we printed to the text file and then we're going to create our x uh, we're going to do mp.zeros and we're going to do data.shape of zero because we're going to have all of the training examples and then we're going to have the length of our vocabulary so that's the dimension for for each example and then y is just going to be mp0s of m data dot shape of zero and we're going to do for i in range of data shape zero we're going to get our current email and we're going to do this dot split and then we're going to do for email word in email so we're going to go through each word in the email we're going to do if email dot email word dot lower in vocabulary then we're going to so if the, if it is in the vocabulary then we're going to add that um, add one to the specific column where where we store that that word uh, in our in our so in, in our X, for example, so which feature belongs to that specific word? And 
since we stored in the vocabulary, we stored an index which represents the the like the column for that specific word. We can just do vocabulary of email word, and then we're going to do plus equals one. And then similarly, I of I is going to be the, the the class of that one, which is stored in in this in the first column or I guess the second column of data. So data I comma one. And yeah, so let's then print, for example, x of zero and all. So we, we print how does the, the feature vector look for the first email? All right, so we get we get back something like this. I'm not really sure which belongs to which, uh, which word is the first one and the second, but we can see that there's a word here that uh, repeats itself seven times through the email. So we can print sort of the shape of x. And we get, so we have about 6,000 training example and each example is about 12,000 dimensional feature vector. So what we wanna do then is we wanna store this um, in, in, in an array so we can load it for the night when we send it into naive base. So we can do x is mp dot directly, just do mp dot save um, and let's store it in data and then x dot npy. We're just going to store x and then also np.save data y.mpy and then just y. And let's see, invalid syntax. Yeah, so it should be a comma here. And let's run this and we should have it saved in that folder. And as we sort of can see now, we have the email CSV file and then we also have the entire uh, five, I guess, 6,000 by 12,000 matrix for the data and then we also have the Y labels right here in NPY files. So let's now go back to the naive base implementation. Right, the one we have right here and we're gonna change how we load the data here. So we're just gonna do, uh, let's comment out this actually and just do print uh, or actually x is mp.load and then data uh, and then x.mpy and then y is mp.load data y.mpy and then print x and y shape and then do the prediction and you could split it again you could split into train and test data we just use the, the training data and let's see so yeah we get we loaded and we get the shapes that we expect and then training so it was pretty quick uh 92 percent accuracy which i guess doesn't s say that much since uh, we need to know how many are, are spam, but we can check that how many sum of y so Divided by y dot shape of zero. So about 24% is spam and uh, Yeah, so it seems to do reasonable and this is again like this is the te the training data so Might do worse um, on test data of course so one thing we could do is we could check, let's see what we predict to be uh, spam and we could do how that looks like. So we can do data.alloc and then for example, the so all of the first three ones, we could do two uh, and then we could just do the the email and then dot .split and we can read that. Oh, actually not dot .split, let's just print like this. Uh, yeah, so we can see here they want to sell some some home or home loan Whatever it seems like spam and we could also do uh, Let's say 2500. I know this one is not spam. So we can see how that looks like and Yeah, so one thing you could do is you could sort of look at how it classifies and make sure that it makes sense and it seems to, to make sense for for this uh, this data that we have uh, thank you so much for watching the video and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and I hope to see you in the next video.